Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin addressed the Steelers nation last night about everything that's happening in the country right now. Our Chris Hoffman is standing by outside Hinesville this morning with the message from Coach Tomlin. Chris. Good morning, Lisa. Before the Steelers hit the field for practice on Friday, Coach Tomlin, as well as the members of the Steelers, prayed for betterment as one united team. Now, this comes as other sports, as you have mentioned, have either canceled or postponed games and practices around the worldwide of sports. Now, the, Mike Tomlin gave a speech with general manager Kevin Colbert and team owner Art Rooney II at his side. The players and coaches had their arms locked and formed one line behind the head coach. Tomlin talked about the diversity of the team and its reaction to the pandemic and recent events, including the shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. He says the team is committed to being part of the solution in facing social injustices and wants to help form a more perfect union. That love and those talents have taught us great tolerance and understanding. We realize that those blessings put us in the minority. We've learned a lot of lessons in 2020, be it from the pandemic or the social unrest. The big perspective that has provided us is regardless of how big and important this game is for us, is small in the big scheme of things. Well, I think we need to educate, educate ourselves. Um, specifically, I, I would like to educate myself, and, and that's why I say I'm listening. And I think listening is such an important thing to do um, because obviously I, I look different than a lot of my teammates and a lot of my friends. And so um, how can I better educate myself and listen and learn? Um, because we all need to do and be better. You can hear quarterback Ben Roethlisberger there saying what he needs to do to better himself and some advice to others. The Steelers' first regular season game is up in the air right now. Their opponent, the New York Giants, have tossed around the idea of possibly boycotting the game as again, as we have seen in other leagues like the NBA and WNBA. We'll keep you updated as this story continues to develop. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.